With this strategy right here, we can make a super OP MAD. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in the game mode Bonanza as well. And ladies and gentlemen, be prepared to be absolutely mind blown because this MAD is no joke. But don't forget to drop a like on today's video, especially if you want to see more videos like this. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Somehow our opponent's using Etienne, but remember, we're literally playing in Bonanza, so that's why I have Adora. But do remember that we do not have the Super Monkey within our strategy. So you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Voltrex, why the heck then would you have Adora as your hero if you're not using the Super Monkey? Well, I'll explain during the later game rounds, okay? Because it will make a lot more sense then. But of course, we're gonna be starting off with a Dartling Gunner. And ideally, we do wanna pop these balloons right as they come off the map. Because although we are using an eco strategy, I kinda just don't want this game to go like for super, super long. You've got to be kidding me, bro. You gotta be kidding me, bro. Why would you start off? Dude, the spike battery is honestly probably the worst starting tower that can actually attack balloons, okay? Yeah, technically you could say village or farm, but like, bro, the spike battery, and I love it. It's my favorite tower, but early game, no, no, no. That is not when you go for a spike battery. Okay, you know what? At least he put down a balloon bot and also a farm, and now he's sending me balloons finally. Let's also go for a village here uh, with the bottom path upgrades, okay? Because one, it can make us a little bit of money, but two, I would like to go for the Monkeyopolis ASAP on this village here, okay? No way he hits the tower boost, bro. Okay, I'm like, I saw it out of the corner of my eye, but I'm trying to focus on this banana farm replacement. Got that down finally, thankfully. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you literally went for a spike balls, bro. Like, you actually could not make this up. That is too funny. But, of course, you guys already know the main objective for today's video is to God boost an MAD in Bonanza. And this is going to be the craziest MAD y'all have ever seen. Trust me when I freaking say that. Round 5 is here. Into group screens, of course. He does have the Super Monkey. Okay, that's a good sign. So, why then do you have Etienne as your hero, bro? Like, I can acknowledge that Etienne is pretty good for most newer slash average players in, like, ranked slash casual, but for Bonanza, he's definitely not the hero that you want to be using. Okay, kind of greedy on my behalf to go for that uh, Monkey City upgrade, but I think we should still be kind of sort of fine. Let me use my level 3 ability here. I don't care if we leak, and I don't care if we have the life advantage. It's not really that big of a deal, in my opinion, but now we're good. Okay, just to be safe, though, I'm going to go with another Dartling Gunner more over here with the faster barrel spin okay beautiful and remember with him farming farm players nine times out of ten tend to be aggressive okay so we're looking to see that god boosted mad in action against a humongous fortified bad rush of course we can only buff the mad with the ultra boost on the engineer and then the homeland defense on the village but unfortunately guys in battles too you can only have three possible towers total this is really random too i was randomly thinking about this during my last live stream bro they should add a game mode to where you can have four tower slots instead of three so take out the hero and put a fourth tower instead I think that would be really, really cool because think about it. Then we would be able to go for a Vengeful True Sun God, for example. Or we could just buff a tower even more. We could go for like the Permanent Brew or something like that, you know? So I think that would be a pretty good game mode. So Ninja Kiwi, if you're watching this video, add it. Okay, bro is going crazy with the Banana Farm. So we'd actually transition this into Pinks as well. We could have a little sooner. Got the Monkeyopolis. Even sucked up a village there. Pause, but literally went for another village. So... I guess the Monkeyopolis technically is a little boosted. Okay, let's just go for the Hydro Rock Pods. Cross path it with the top path as well. This will most likely be uh, my eventual MAD here. So we'll have this for quite some time. Now, the next thing that I would like to go for is the Engineer's Ultra Boost, okay? Because it takes time to Ultra Boost things or towers in Battles 2, although the max is only times 5. So it's really not that long, but realistically, the earlier they can go for that, the better now we could technically ultra boost like other towers which i'm definitely down to do that although the mad is definitely the main focus should i eco with uh purples i really don't want him to die because uh his current setup is not able to pop purples like watch this i'm, I'm just gonna send a few oh okay well those are lead balloons but purples here look even with that sun avatar oh i forgot with etienne he has like a 25 percent chance of popping purples Okay, so I guess I stand corrected, bro. I feel like RNG's on his side, though. I mean, it's a 25% chance. So that means there's a 75% chance that he can't pop up. But he, he's still absolutely shredding. I mean, it's a Sun Avatar. 
it can attack quite fast. So that's honestly probably why. Holy crap, we only have 5,000 eco on round 16 here. I guess we could have our Ultra Boost. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but of course, the Ultra Boost is not here to actually attack and pop balloons. It is here to buff other towers. So I guess I'm going to go with that Ultra Boost then all the way down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, technically, I could be going for more village farms and stuff like that. Uh, but again, I'd rather have this Ultra Boost first. Maybe after we go for the Ultra Boost, then we'll start working on more villages. Although money is clearly not an issue anyway for both of us, that is. But oh my goodness, we got the level 7 ability. I forgot to mention this. Oh, we just got it. Beautiful. Blood Sacrifice. Briefly supercharge a targeted tower before sacrificing it. Granted Adora large amounts of XP and boosting her attack range and rate of fire for a short time. So really just pay attention to that first part. Briefly supercharge a targeted tower. Guys, I'm not sure what briefly technically means. I think it's like a couple of seconds. But if we God boost an MAD and then blood sacrifice on top of it, we're going to supercharge an already God boosted tower. So that's why this is going to be the absolute most crazy, or craziest, sorry, <laughs> to make grammatic sense, craziest MAD y'all have ever seen. Let's go for the Ultra Boost here. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and Ultra Boost this. Again, that's going to be our eventual MAD. And I guess uh, we could actually, you know what? Let me go for a Balloon Trap. Kind of forgot about that uh, on the Engineer. I mean, we didn't need to go for it, like, sooner because the AI obviously was not very dense. Uh, but of course, here, starting on round 20, uh, my class balloons are going to start coming out, so might as well just go for, like, the triple XL trap, for example, okay? So let's go for that beautiful. We have a Banana Farmer to, to auto-collect all the balloon traps for us, and let's continue on Ultra Boosting already two times freaking two. So let me just show you, like, an example, though. How about that of the level 7 ability in action? So I guess I'm still not yet uh, going to go for uh, these village farms, even though I meant to. Let me also go for, by the way, here... A radar scanner village also the jungle drums because why not get back to equal world purple is beautiful so if i go ahead and go with maybe okay just a balloon area denial system or actually it's not attacking that fast let's wait to get up the balloon exclusion zone fifty three thousand dollars so obviously kind of expensive but again money's not an issue so there we go with that beautiful now pay attention uh to the bez itself if i go ahead and use the blood sacrifice ability on it it's going to supercharge it look at that look at that chat that is absurd. There was no Ultra Boosting 2 on that tower. None whatsoever. So if we Ultra Boost this to times 5, Homeland Defense as well, Tower Boost, and Supercharge it with the Blood Sacrifice and Ability. Again, I'm telling you, it's going to be crazy. Okay, is he sending me tight leads? Wait, he actually is. Okay, well, let's not die here. What the heck? That was so random, bro. I mean, we're good. Don't get me wrong. Tight lids is crazy, though, bro. Tight lids is insane. Okay, I was making sure that I had camera detection um, on the triple XL trap. Now, the triple XL trap only makes money from AI balloons, not player sent balloons. So, that's super, super important to remember. Uh, this is kind of bothering me that this is not pixel perfect. So, I definitely plan on eventually selling it. Let me ultra boost you one last time. Beautiful. All right. So, already ultra boosted all the way to times five. And round 25 is already here. Okay. Let me get, then, um, these village farms on the map. I mean, we could go for an MAD as well. Although, MAD is not the tower that you want to go for in order to defend against tight leads, necessarily. But, hey, I mean, it can't hurt at the same time, you know? So, yeah, I'm not too concerned about the placements of all of these. Oh, shoot, yeah, I need to ultra boost another tower. Okay, so let me go ahead and just go with, then, maybe, like, a sentry champion directly in the center of the map. Beautiful. And let's get to ultra boosting that, okay? Because ultra boosting a sentry champion happens to be quite freaking op is this spot by jungle drums it is not unfortunately that is all good though round 26 is here although we are absolutely fine um against ddt's because yes round 26 is the first round the ddt's come out bro is just still sending me tight leads i'm i don't think he was like necessarily trying to rush us i think he just equaled because yes tight leads are better to send than purple eco however i am not going for like any eco world record or high amount of eco uh, so, I'm just going to go ahead and continue on sending purples, because for lag purposes, I mean, you can already feel it, or I can feel it. You might already be able to see it, though. Uh, but if I was also sending tight leads, it would be even laggier. So, like, honestly, I just don't even want to worry about that. Okay, round 28 is here. Now, you can send fast cooldown DDTs. 
Highly, highly doubt he does that, though. Okay, let's continue on ultra boosting this as well. I have not been paying attention to that. But he's practically got max farms over on his side. Okay, yeah, let me just get these village farms down, by the way. I gotta lock in for a second. Okay, round 30s here. Bro, this is so laggy, bro. Like, this is actually insane. And it's because of those tight lights, bro. Tight rushes in general really lag up the game. Okay, but uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and go with another Darling Gunner. I do think that I'm due for a PC upgrade. Guys, I have a 2080 Ti graphics card for you PC nerds out there. I feel like it's like out of date at this point. I got it back in 2020. It's now 2024, almost 2025. So is it time for an upgrade? Please let me know what your guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below. I mean, I always thought a 2080 Ti was good. And I think my processor is like an i9-9900, okay? Or whatever. I, I think that's my processor. So, like, those are like the two main components that matter, right? I, I feel like those are good. I mean, back at the time when I bought those PC parts, they definitely were the best. But again, it's about to be 2025. So, maybe it's like not up to par any longer. But I'll have you as my BZ. So let me go ahead and go with you right now. Beautiful. And then this last one as my right of doom. And on top of that, I'm going to go for a jungle drum. Yeah, this is, this is bad. This is bad lag. I can't even imagine playing this game on mobile. And I know a lot of you watching probably play on mobile. So, like, how do you do this? <laughs> this is crazy, chat. Okay, let me go ahead and ultra boost you one last time. Beautiful. So, that's times five. This is times five. Now, on top of that, like, notice how on this center champion, there is an overclock icon as well. That's because when you ultra boost something, you technically also overclock it. But if you click on the MAD, there's only an ultra boost. That means there's no overclock effect. So if we overclock... Oh, he's enemy DDTs. What the heck? DDTs do absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm going to stop at like 25,000 eco, by the way. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, we're, we're fine here. We're actually fine here. But I do want to do it. These are unfortified. Okay. Homeland defense. Well, I get a 66% increase of attack speed if I do this. Oh, he's sending fortified now. Okay, so let me do this right. Tower boost, homeland... MAD ability, overclock it, blood sacrifice it! Oh my goodness! Holy crap! How many? One point? Wait, well, one point five. It was one point five. Chat. Oh, did I, I didn't forget anything, right? Because I, I um. Oh shoot! I'm, I'm dead to this though. <laughs> I'm dead to this though. Wait. Oh, I can't even like move anything. It's so laggy. I, I can't even move anything. Yeah, I'm dead to the forty-five DDTs. That was crazy, though. Okay. Wow. That lag was insane. But you know what we can do? We can hop into a private match to see it, like, a little bit better in action, I guess. Okay. It's round 32 here. Jumpstart Bonanza against myself on my phone. Uh, currently, though, my PC or my phone's plugged into my PC. But we need to ultra boost this just one last time. As you can see, so much smoother. So much smoother, man. This is actually insane. It's always the smoothest when I go against myself. Okay. Ultra boost times five. Beautiful. So let me unplug this. As you, you literally could hear it. Uh, but anyway, right here, just to prove it, let's go ahead and use the Bloom Bot. Fortified BADs. And let's get right to it, chat. Okay. Tower boost. Um, where's the homeland? Homeland. Overclock this as well. This. And then blood sacrifice. Look at that. I didn't get to see the pop count though. Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I wanted to see the pop count. Stop it. Stop it, phone. Can I defend this, guys? Can can I somehow defend this? I, I really doubt it. Um Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm toast. I think I'm toast, chat. Oh my okay, we got one more time. Okay, one last time. Ultra boost the times five. Bet. Alright, four to five BEDs here in a second. Beautiful. Okay, use that. Power boost, MAD ability, blood sacrifice. Look at the pop counts. Look at that. That is ridiculous, chat. Ridiculous. That is the fastest attacking MAD. It had the jungle drums buff on it as well, by the way. And I had it ultra boosted, so the overclocked effect was on it. You could have seen it probably from the icons anyway already. But that's it. Yeah. I mean, that's all the buffs that we can do. The best buffs possible in the game. Let me know what you guys think because I don't know. Like, you, it doesn't even get that crazy in BTD6, I feel like. 
of course, without mods. And if you want to see more videos like this, please drop a like on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe. And don't forget to use my creator support code, Boltrix, in the Battles 2 and BTD6 shop. And also, check out this video where the new Balloons Card Storm update is insane.